Hey guys, it's Greg here from DearBlogger.org, and to go along with this post I'm writing featuring Aweber, I'm going to design a form and then put it in the post. And I want to do this to show you guys how easy Aweber is to use and how fun it is. So here I am in my Aweber dashboard. I'm in the Web Forms tab, and it has brought up the form designer. This is usually what you see at first. It's a very basic form that we can edit. So I'm going to go over to show more. We can see all the different types of opt-in forms. There must be over a thousand in here. And I'm going to design one right here on the fly. So I'm going to check out promotional forms. And let's see, we could have a piano one. We'll hit load. That'd be pretty cool. Um, not exactly what I'm all about. So let's try um, bookshelf and fiction. That sounds fun. Hit load template. All right, here we go. I'm going to delete a few things um, like this and this. Um, and then I'm going to add an image. Just click image. Placeholder pops in. Um, I usually like getting my images from my uh, WordPress. Uh, that's the wrong one. So we'll grab my ebook picture. To put an image in, you, you just need the link. Go back here, pop the URL in, and it should show up. It's not right now. Let's hit save. Try it again. There we go. There's our image. I'm going to center it and then I'm going to save it and move it. And then we need some text. Alright. Text element that uh, came in down here. Maybe here. There it is. So let's think of a message. This is a special form designed for my Aweber blog post. Enter your name and email to get my free ebook delivered right away. And that happens because I have an auto response message set up in Aweber to send the ebook right when you subscribe. Um, that's something I already set up and I uh, might do a video on it later. So let's make the text bigger. Uh, that should do it. Um, we'll go to Homa. It's uh, what I like using. Center it. It's a lot like using uh, Microsoft Word or something like that. And then we can move the elements. We're going to move the text up here. And that's looking a little better. Let's change, um, change the headings. We're looking pretty good. All right. Let's save on the form. Next step is to name the form. Call it DB Special Form. Go to step three. And this is where we get the code to install the form onto the blog. So I like doing it on my own. I think it's the easiest way. You just copy the script, go back in, and then paste it in. Boom. And when we publish the post, you'll see it right in the middle of my post, the new form. So that's how to design an Aweber form. Just wanted to get you familiar with it. 
and uh, make sure to post a comment right here on my post um, telling me that you like it or hate it, either one. See ya.